In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to automate the knowledge graph schema to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. If you've worked in a development AI agent for long enough, you eventually stop thinking about your nodes, tables, edges, normalized schemas, those become second nature, that's where I was. Until one weekend I got curious, I have worked for a couple of clients for a while, I know knowledge graphs can already organize massive amounts of complex information into structured machine readable knowledge. But one big problem when building a knowledge graph is that it usually needs a fixed structure called a schema. Before you even start, think of it like trying to build a Lego castle, but someone tells you exactly where every brick must go before you begin. That might work for one type of castle, but what if you want to build a spaceship next? You'd have to start all over again with a new plan. In the old way, experts would have to design these schemas by prompting LLM, which limits the scalability, adaptability, and it only works well for one topic or domain. If new data comes in or if the topic changes, the whole graph might stop working or need major updates. It's not very flexible. But a new method I discovered to solve this problem automatically induces schemas directly from unstructured text using large language models, enabling fully autonomous large-scale knowledge graph construction that can dynamically adapt to diverse and evolving domains without redesigning the schema. Auto schema knowledge graph has significantly improved construction efficiency. According to experimental data, compared with traditional methods, this framework can shorten the construction time of knowledge graphs by about 70% while maintaining a high accuracy rate. This achievement not only reduces costs, but also makes it possible to update large-scale knowledge graphs in real time, truly realizing the combination of intelligence and efficiency. So, let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will ask the chatbot a question, who is Alex? If you take a look at how the chatbot generates the output, you'll see that the agent searches through its internal knowledge graph. It made sure all the nodes in the graph have the required attributes like type, ID, and file ID, so every part of the graph is well-structured and ready for retrieval. If any of these were missing, the agent automatically assigns sensible defaults, like marking a node as text if its ID matched known text entries or entity otherwise. Once the graph is ready, the agent uses a sentence encoder to turn the question, the graph's nodes, edges, and text content into vector embeddings. These embeddings are then stored in FICE indexes, which makes the retrieval process super fast. After that, I use the HIPPORAG2 retriever to combine the LLM generator and the graph data. When I asked, who is Alex? Swing the retriever scanned the graph's text, nodes, and edges for the most relevant matches based on similarity scores. It picked the top two most relevant pieces of context, sorted them, and passed them into the LLM generator, which then used the context to generate a final answer. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe turn the notification bell, like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Auto Schema Knowledge Graph is a framework for building a knowledge graph completely autonomously, eliminating the need for predefined schemas. The system uses large language models to perform knowledge triple extraction and schema induction simultaneously directly from text data in a web scale corpora Auto Schema Knowledge Graph is the conceptualization process that drives schema induction. It generalizes concrete entities, events, and relations into broader conceptual categories through abstraction mechanisms. Auto Schema Knowledge Graph converts unstructured text into a structured knowledge graph through a two-part process. In the first part, it uses a large language model to extract three types of relationships in stages. Entity-entity relations, such as identifying that Einstein worked at Princeton. Entity-event relations, such as linking Einstein to the discovery of the theory of relativity. And event-event relations, such as connecting World War I to World War II. Each relationship is turned into a triple. 
two elements connected by a relation and stored with the original text and metadata. In the second part called schema induction, the system abstracts specific entities, events and relations into higher level concept types using the language model. For example, Einstein might be labeled as a scientist and theory of relativity as a scientific theory. It uses information from neighboring nodes to add more context, processes everything in batches for speed, and saves the results in a CSV file. GraphRag and Autoschema KG can't compete together. Each approach has its unique advantages and is suited for different stages. GraphRag excels at leveraging existing or manually curated knowledge graphs to enhance retrieval and reasoning tasks, especially when high-quality domain-specific graphs are available. Autoschema Knowledge Graph focuses on automatically constructing large, flexible, and comprehensive knowledge graphs from unstructured data without manual schemas, enabling scalability and extensive domain coverage. Together, these approaches can be integrated. Autoschema Knowledge Graph can automatically generate knowledge graphs that can later be used by GraphRag to improve performance in various tasks. Let us now explore step by step and unravel the answer to how to automate the Knowledge Graph Schema. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. The next step is the usual one. We will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed. Atlas RAG, a framework for fully autonomous knowledge graph construction that eliminates the need for predefined schemas. I set the environment to use GPU device 1 to control which GPU is used during processing. Then I imported key components like triple generator, knowledge graph extractor, and processing config from the Atlas RAG to work with knowledge graphs and also brought in the OpenAI class to connect with a model API. I developed an OpenAI client using a custom base URL from Deep Infra and an API key to connect with the model. I set the keyword to Dulce and created an output directory path based on that keyword. Finally, I initialized the triple generator using the OpenAI client and customized it with parameters like max new tokens equal 4096 a low temperature equals 0.1 for more deterministic results and frequency penalty equal 1.1 to reduce repetition in the output. Then I made the knowledge graph extraction pipeline and I created a processing config called KG extraction config where I set the model path to the Elama 3.3 model. I pointed the data source to the example data folder, filtered files using the keyword as the file name pattern, set a small batch size of four for manageable processing and defined the output directory. So I made a knowledge graph extractor using the triple generator and my custom config and developed the logic to start the extraction with run extraction, which automatically reads the input data, generates triples, and writes them to JSON. Lastly, I added a step to convert the extracted JSON data into a structured CSV file using convert JSON to CSV to make the results easy to view and analyze. After that, I developed a script to manually generate the concept CSV files and then build a complete directed knowledge graph in graph format. First, I made sure the concept CCSV directory exists inside the output folder. I read the original nodes and edges from the triple CCSV directory and saved exact copies of them as concept nodes and triple edges in the new concept folder. Since there were no explicit concept to concept links, I created an empty concept edges CSV with the correct column structure. Then I used NetworkX to build a directed graph I added each node from the original node file with detailed attributes like ID, type, concepts, and synsets, and also added text nodes by reading a separate text nodes, CSV. Next, I developed edges in the graph by linking entities events using the data from the original edges file, and added additional mentions edges from the text edges file, if present. Finally, I created a knowledge graph directory and exported the full graph to a .graphml file summarizing the result with a print statement showing the total number of nodes and edges created. I built the RAG pipeline to integrate the key components needed for semantic retrieval and answer generation. I started selecting the model known for its speed and accuracy and loaded it using sentence transformer with trust remote code equal true and device map equal auto 
to ensure it runs efficiently on the available hardware. I wrapped this model with sentence embedding to transform user queries and documents into dense vectors for similarity-based retrieval. Then I connected my previously configured OpenAI client and Alama 3.3 model to the LLM generator, which I used to generate natural language answers based on the retrieved information. Then I made a complete embedding and indexing pipeline to prepare the knowledge graph data for efficient semantic retrieval. I extracted the original text and their IDs from the text nodes DF data frame and built a dictionary mapping each text ID to its corresponding text. Then I gathered the full list of nodes and edges from the graph, converting them into strings to use as input for embeddings. I used compute text embeddings along with the sentence encoder to compute vector embeddings for three types of elements, original texts, graph nodes, and edges. For each of these, I printed progress updates to track the embedding process. After that, I built FICE indexes using a helper function create FICE index, which normalizes and indexes the embeddings to structure with inner product similarity. I created separate indexes for text, node, and edge embeddings, and also built a combined graph index using both node and edge embeddings. Finally, I wrapped all of this into a unified a data dictionary that includes the graph, lists, embeddings, FICE indexes, and mapping setting the stage for fast and flexible retrieval during the RAG workflow. I ensured all nodes in the graph had the necessary attributes to check each one for type, ID, and file ID. If a node was missing type, I set it to text. If the ID matched a known text ID or defaulted it to entity, missing ID and file ID fields were both filled in with the node's own ID. I verified the fix to print attributes for a few nodes, then updated the data structure to include the corrected graph. With that in place, I recreated the RAG system Hippo RAG 2 retriever, connecting it to the LLM generator, sentence encoder, and the full knowledge graph data. Then I tested a sample query, who is Alex? Retrieving the top two relevant pieces of context and generating an answer, using the LLM to generate both the content and a clear answer, confirming it's working as expected. Auto schema knowledge graph not only demonstrates the cutting edge progress of knowledge graph construction technology, but also opens up a new direction for future intelligent information processing and knowledge management. Through automated pattern induction and knowledge extraction, knowledge graphs will become more flexible and efficient and better able to adapt to the rapidly changing information environment.